will show you how to uh, set up uh, Amazon Elastic Search Service uh, basic one. Uh, first, we go to the AWS uh, Management Console and then uh, we search the Amazon Elastic. here okay uh, so I'm gonna create a new domain so the first uh, which you choose is there are four steps right the first one is choose a uh, development uh, deployment type so I here uh, we choose the development and testing. There are four types, production, development and testing, custom, and ultra warm preview. Here, uh, we all have to choose the version. Uh, we select the latest one, uh, 7.1. Next is to configure the domain. We will configure a domain is a collection of resources needed to run Elasticsearch. The domain name will be part of your domain endpoint. So we give it a name. Dev. Test. Uh, dev node, uh, select an instance type that corresponds to the computer memory and storage needs of your application. Uh, consider the size of your elastic search indices, number of shards and replica types of query and volume request. So in this case, uh, we just use the simplest one, mm -hmm, the default one. Number of nodes, we just choose one. And the data node storage, uh, we just leave it as a default. And uh, dedicated master nodes uh, as well, we leave it as uh, uh, disabled. There is no dedicated master nodes for our setup, simple system, uh, setup. And the snapshot configuration, uh, it will take automatic. Uh, every day so we'll leave with the default value and optional cluster settings and uh, so here we just uh, leave the default values here okay and the next one we will click the next uh, it's the third one is uh, configure access and security um, so we'll uh, choose the simple one, which is uh, internet access, the public access. And public access, and uh, the next is uh, a fine-grained access control powered by open distro for Elasticsearch. So we will uh, disable it, we do not need it, so make it to keep things simple. And but you, here you will see that features include domain level security, feed level security, and read only, Kibana users and Kibana tenants. And the next one will leave the Amazon Cognito authentication disabled to keep things simple. And access policy is a custom access policy we choose to make it simple. And you will see there is a JSON allow open for address. We will allow everybody can access to make things simple. So allow and encryption we will remove or it's just uncheck everything. And uh, so that we have a very simple basic settings. For this test, we just uh, uh, leave it okay. It's, uh, unchecked, so keep it simple. So uh, the review is that uh, let you give you a chance to uh, review what you have 
set and you will see the public access uh, all the other features disabled and the setup access point is allow okay next is confirm you will see that you have successfully created uh, an elastic search domain so it will be approximately 10 minutes you have to wait here take about 10 minutes and uh, in 10 minutes uh, we will see whether you can access it you will see the endpoint here to access uh, the elastic uh, elastic search domain uh, service and also the key banners service access address ui will be shown here as well access is active uh, which means it's ready for us to access this endpoint for the elastic search and you see we can uh, access it it gives us all the information and uh, uh, vision number this is the elastic search we can access it and also gives us a kibana uh, we go to the kibana click and use the last search data okay uh, we don't have an index pattern yet right we can go to here the adapt tools and uh, it is welcome I uh, show you that uh, the UI is split into two panes blah blah all the information a, qu uh, a few quick tips click get to work so first uh, we'll see the, the one uh, index is kibana uh, the next one will create a index Basically, we'll get the uh, real-time metrics that is agents available. Uh, we'll create uh, this uh, uh, index so that we can uh, uh, put the data in here. Settings. Number of shots. Just only need one replicas we do not need it you can see uh, we've created an index and can, we can get uh, what's inside right now Okay, so this is the uh, information from the index we set up. All other is empty, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, we've set up the uh, Elastic Search Amazon Elastic Search service. Next, we're gonna use it uh, to push the data using the Lambda functions. Uh, uh, elastic search service domain uh, we can uh, delete it so let's action delete domain are you sure yes then we delete it 
uh, see here it is being deleted we'll wait several minutes and it, it will be deleted <laughs> 